autumn, the season of changing colors and the perfect moments to refresh our wardrobes. This fall, let's embrace our curves and sew something amazing. Do you struggle to find stylish plus size clothing that fits just right? Well, it's time to put those worries aside because today we're going to be showing you how to create your own fabulous plus size fall wardrobe. Buckle up friends, it's sewing time. First, let's talk about what's trending this season. Now, I don't always like to follow the trends because I really do like to stick with what feels good to me, but just for shits and giggles, let's see what's trending this season. First up, of course, is cozy textures, and I am completely obsessed with this one. We're talking about like teddy bear fleeces, faux fur, chunky knits for those oversized sweaters, coats, and warm scarves. Next up, of course, is the color scheme. The girlies are going to mustard, rust, olive, and navy blue you to death this season. And you know what? I'm here for it. Why? Because this is my normal color palette anyway. But I will just say that just because the seasons have changed, that does not necessarily mean that you have to change up your color scheme. If you're into all of the neons, wear that. If you're into the jewel tones, wear that. Commit to wearing colors that make you feel happy because we're all about the dopamine sews and styles, okay? I don't know if it's because I have a teen, but I'm back to feeling like it's a 90s kind of world. I'm glad I got my girls. Now, <laughs> shout out to those of y'all who get that reference because we're in the same like age range, okay, friends? We're not here to judge. So that means that we're seeing this oversized baggy pant look with the fitted crop tops. Yes, we're taking it back to Aaliyah style. We're seeing the flannel shirts, the combat boots, the Doc Martens, all of that. And you know what? In truth, I actually really feel like this is my aesthetic because you guys know I stand for a wide leg pant with a crop top because that silhouette just feels really, really good to me. So what else are we seeing this fall? Now, we already know that fall is all about the layers and this year is no different. So we're seeing the oversized blazers. Now, y'all have already seen this on my uh, my Instagram. We're seeing the cardigans. We're seeing the vests that are perfect for adding depth to your outfits. Don't forget about layering, right? We're layering with accessories, not just our clothing, but accessories like scarves and statement belts, okay? And of course, with fall comes plaid plaid everything we're talking about plaid patterns because of course it's like it's classic for fall right and of course it's back on style so you'll find plaid on literally everything from blazers to skirts to scarves and in truth it's a timeless choice for your fall wardrobe leather leather and faux leather pieces are versatile and stylish for fall we're talking about leather jackets, pants, skirts, and friends, even dresses. They can add an edgy touch to your outfit. Now, also make sure that as you're layering your leathers, that you're being mindful about what type of heat we're talking about. Because again, not everybody is someplace where we're experiencing all four seasons. So if you are hot natured, like me, it just might not be in your best interest to go ahead and get that, uh, that leather on or you just layer it on the bottom layer to give that appropriate level of edginess that you're going for, right? So for you, if you are hot natured, a la me, there is no judgment, right, for the sweaty girlies, but you might want to just make sure that underneath your leather jackets, or I've even seen those leather tops becoming popular, that you have enough underneath so that if you need to take something off, you're still dressed appropriately, okay, friends? Now also, this is one of my favorites, and I don't know if this is strictly for fall because your girl is always mixing prints, okay? So don't be afraid to mix and match different prints. Animal prints, floral patterns, geometric designs, a little camo, right? All of these things can be combined creatively to make a bold fashion statement. And we know that I am here for the bold fashion statements, friends, okay? Now, this is not something that can necessarily be me made. We can just buy this, but statement boots. I really do feel like boots are a fall staple. And this season is really all about making a statement with your footwear. We're talking about knee high or thigh high boots in particular. Those are on trend, okay? 
Now, I don't think that this is trendy and I feel like this should be a staple, but sustainable fashion. Many people are really opting for sustainable and eco-friendly fashion choices. And I'm here for it. Now, you guys know I started out as in a um, non-toxic, sustainable brand, and I'm definitely here for this. One of my favorite places to buy more ethical or um, recycled fabrics made with like Reprieve and that sort of thing. And she actually does uh, custom fabrics. It's so dynamic fabrics. Y'all, go ahead and get in support. Support her going out and recycling those plastic water bottles because y'all there's a lot of them out there and just pausing one time for the sustainability girlies i get it people will buy the water bottles and be like but i recycle let me just drop this here just gem for you very quickly the united states in the world period was not ready for how much plastic we ended up producing okay so that means that the recycling process that they created could not support the amount of plastic that is being produced, which means that, in fact, in the earlier 2000s, so in about 2015, 2016, 91% of everything that we recycled was still ending up like in the oceans and in the waste. They were not being recycled. That has now increased to about 90 five to 96 percent friends so recycling is not enough and if we're looking at our little triangle right it's reduce reuse and then recycle which means that we've got to reduce first okay so one of the really beautiful things that i love about reprieve um, fabrics is that they actually take about 16 water bottles to produce one yard of fabric okay so just make sure that you're being mindful about that Right. So if there is something that you can use a sustainable fabric for, definitely. If you can go to the thrift store and upcycle something versus buying new fabrics, definitely do so. Now, I get that for us plus size girlies, that can be hard. But listen, bed shoot couture is a thing. So let's also make sure that we're doing our part. OK, friends. Now, let's get back into the trends for fall 2023. We're seeing the oversized silhouette, right? Now, I did highlight this in the 90s kind of world, right? But we're embracing these oversized silhouettes for a relaxed and comfortable look. We're talking about the baggy pants, the oversized sweaters, the roomy blouses. These things are all the rage right now, and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so now let's talk about the patterns that we're talking about for these plus size girlies for fall. Now, button downs were a really big thing this summer. Like, I swear every pattern company dropped and created new plus size or rather new button down shirts. For size inclusivity, Made for Mermaids had the Alani button down, which I loved. I tested this pattern. And this pattern has a lot of ease. And instead of it having a traditional sleeve, it has a dolman style sleeve, giving it a completely different feel from a lot of these button downs that are out there. Patterns for Pirates has the Shacket pattern, which is, you can use, of course, lined, and it can be the perfect oversized flannel. And for something that's a little bit different, Petite Citry has a really fun and cool color blocked uh, shirt or jacket, and it's called the Clay. It's um, really promoted as a shacket, but you can obviously make it a shirt. This year, I did make the Roan from Seamwork, which is super easy to make, and I love that. Now, if you're into more of the tissue patterns, Simplicity has S9756, and my friend Tiffany Tip Stitch just made this into such a cute resort outfit, like she's giving us zebra print goddess. For the oversized sweaters and sweatshirts that are super big right now, I will put the bug in your ear that I have a pattern that is heading into testing this week, and that is giving us oversized, beautiful crew neck greatness. Now, also my friend Michelle is testing a oversized button down situation, super cute. Both of these are gonna be dropping for Made for Mermaids this season, probably in a couple of weeks. But if you're like, girl, I need to make something right now, Patterns for Pirates has the oversized sweater as well as the modern sweater. Both of those are my go-tos when I'm looking for something that is oversized in, in nature for both myself and my kids. Now we know that layering is huge and I've been loving this tailored vest look. 
if you're into that as well, because this is something that can be worn as is over something and you need something that is both comfy and size inclusive, Simplicity does have the S9689. Unfortunately, this is like the only fitted or tailored vest that I was able to find. So this might be something that I need to work on. I feel a new pattern possibly being drafted. And of course, we can not talk about fall without talking about the sweater dress. And I couldn't be more excited, of course, because my very own Nomi pattern, this is Nomi ME2050 or did I say that right? Yes, I did say it right. And um, my very own Nomi 2050, of course, is a perfect silhouette for those who are looking for the perfect sweater dress. It does start at the size 10 and it goes up to a size... 38 women's okay so talk about size inclusive this pattern is super fun super easy super fast and there's a lot of fun hacks that you can do with it you can do some color blocking you could keep it one color we've got a belt multiple lengths pre-printed in there but of course hacking is definitely a thing so make it what you want to see okay now if you're also into say a button-down sweater look y'all I, I stand for it okay I saw one that Eloquy made and I was like definitely about to remake this on my own, okay? But if you're into this, the button down sweater look, the P4P all buttoned up dress is a fantastic choice. Not only can you wear it as a sweater that is buttoned up and now you've got your sweater dress, but unbuttoned, now you have the perfect cardigan. You can make it in multiple lengths and you get the duster format as well. Now, if you are a cocoon style girly, me too. I stand for cocoon style. Okay. I personally love the petite stitchery made dress. It is a beautiful cocoon dress. It has a couple of different um, length options in there, but it is fantastic. Now we're also seeing the oversized blazers. I made the Friday pattern Heather blazer and it's every single thing that you need in life. Now, I do highly recommend sizing down a bit if you don't want the 90s to give you a call and ask for their blazer back. Now, if this is your vibe, rock with it. Make it super oversized. I definitely felt like it was a little too much off of my shoulders and I would opt for shoulder pads the next time that I make it. And because we know that Clueless is so classic 90s, make sure that you're checking out the Clueless collection from Made for Mermaids. It features quite a few patterns. We're talking about the mini skirt, like the Cher mini skirt, giving us Alicia Silverstone excellence, right? We've got the Dion blazer, which is a blazer that you can make out of a double knit fabric, which is so perfect, very fast sew. We also have the Thai bodysuit, which is giving like beautiful ballerina, right? Because it's got this slow scoot back, fantastic. Then of course, there's also um, the uh, vest that comes along with it. So ultimately, if you are like, I'm, I'm really trying to live in the 90s, definitely check out that collection from Made for Mermaids. All right, friends, now it's time for us to talk about my favorite thing in the world. Fabrics, of course, of course, of course. Um, I think that fabrics is a completely separate hobby from sewing, but I digress. Now, depending upon where you are geographically, you may not need the thicker fabrics, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to make pretend that everyone lives in an area that has all four seasons, right? Because unless you are in Antarctica or something like that, we need some differentiation, right? So one of my absolute fall favorite fabrics is Oakley. This is like the love child of a double brush polyester, a Hachi, and a French terry. It's nice and thick, but it's also really breathable and it's super soft. Naturally, French terry is definitely going to be big. Also, I feel like French terry is big all year round, but I digress. The plaids are back, so we're talking about flannels and cotton. Okay. And another fabric has that has gained a lot of traction. In fact, I just saw uh, Minerva post this fabric is the quilted fabrics. Now I personally have two tone, like a beautiful two tone denim fabric that is quilted and is dying to be made into a couple of jackets for myself, my bestie and my husband. Also, we're talking about that teddy bear, like fleece, which is like super cute, super fuzzy. Um, and then of course, double brush polyester. Now listen, 
I know that it's like, Aronica, why would you say double brush polyester? That seems like that's a thinner fabric. Friends, double brush polyester does not really breathe that well. Okay, now in most instances, this is not a problem. If you're a sweaty girly like me, it's me, I'm sweaty. This is perfect for the fall and winter. Why? Because you don't need to really layer too much because that, that double brush polyester, it's not the most breathable. That is not the most breathable fabric in the world. No shade if you love it, because there was a point in time where my friends know that I was I was giving double brush polyester for everything. Leggings, bodysuits, dresses. It didn't matter. But also, your girl was sweating. Okay. I was I was sweating a lot. So that's why I think it is a great fall slash winter fabric, especially if you're looking for like a sleeker silhouette. If you're like, yeah, I love this oversized um situation with a fitted look that fitted top is going to be perfect for you out of that double brush polyester because it's going to give you the warmth that you need but it's also going to give you a sleeker silhouette so just offering that out there for my friends okay don't don't come for me though now one of my biggest sewing tips that i have for fall and winter sewing this is it's going to sound obvious, but I'm going to say it anyway. Clean your machines, friends. Seriously. All of the fabrics that I listed and all of the fabrics that I shared, they have a lot of fluff. They have a lot of texture and that can easily get caught up in your machines. So make sure that you're grabbing your hoses, those little tiny hoses. I will drop a link to Amazon in the caption, but make sure that you're taking care of your machines. Vacuum those babies out. Seriously. Not only can it cause damage to your machines, like little engine on the inside, but it can also do damage to your lungs, okay? All of that fluff getting in there, no bueno. Now, also make sure that those needles are fresh and your blades for your, your shears as well as your rotary colors, uh, cutters are sharp. Those thicker fabrics are going to need it. Why? And here's the thing. I found this out as I was making my husband's, I was making him a pullover. Pullovers are also really big this season. Your girl may or may not have just made like six of them yesterday, okay? But here's the thing. As I was cutting through this super thick fabric and I made it out of this beautiful double knit, y'all will see pictures on Beyonce's internet soon. But as I was cutting through, there were layers of stretchiness, layers of it which means that I had to make sure that my blade was super, super sharp because otherwise I was just being left with all of these strings all over the place. And that's not really what I wanted, okay? So my final tip, of course, is don't be afraid to sew new things. Don't be afraid to try new techniques. One of the things that I'm getting ready to hop in and work on is a pair of corduroy pants. Then I'm gonna go for like a nice wide leg pant. Why? Because corduroy is also really popular for fall right now one of the things that i will say that i am careful of is the silhouette that i'm using this corduroy for um of course as i think of corduroy i think back to like you know how we would joke as kids and be like don't walk too fast you're gonna start a fire in between your legs right because you know as you're walking you have that choo, 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 choo. so i won't i likely won't make anything that is tight it's gonna be a nice flowy pant so that if I do happen to have to run, yog, or walk very quickly, there are no fires that start. But seriously, this is the perfect season for you to go ahead and try something new. We are talking about the season of jackets, which means buttons and zippers. And if you're like, girl, those things are too hard, do not talk yourself out of it. Don't do that. You can absolutely do this, okay? All right, friends, that is it. That is all I have for our plus size fall wardrobe additions, okay? So as you're deciding what you want to add to your wardrobe this season, don't fall victim to where people are saying, oh, you should find patterns that are flattering. <sighs> Dopamine sews, friends. Make things that make you feel beautiful. Make things that make you feel amazing. Make things that might challenge your skill set so that you can learn something that's a little new, okay? And do me a favor, drop your favorite plus size girly pattern below that you have to be making this, this fall. And I don't know, maybe I'll make it on live. Okay. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, turn on notifications. You already know all of the jazz. Share this with a friend of yours who you know needs to know some of these plus size fall patterns that are waiting for them to make. And with that, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks so much for joining me today.